Hey, welcome back everyone. I am Matt Larson 10 and some amazing news. As we all knew in the past, uh, the Massachusetts delegates that were actually legally won and they followed the rules and they did everything correct uh, and then were kicked out by the Massachusetts, uh, basically the GOP committee, uh, they are filing a petition to be reinstated and they actually have a very good chance of getting back in. Uh, the GOP's only reasoning for them not being allowed to be seated down at the RNC was their their thoughts that these Liberty candidates that signed affidavits pledged to be Romney delegates uh, would not follow the rules down there and just go vote for Paul right away. So uh, I don't really know how much more proof and evidence that those uh, uh, elected delegates could have shown. I mean, they signed legal documents. Uh, they promised, they gave their own word that they would follow the rules and they would vote Mitt Romney on the first ballot. It's just the GOP is pulling every single punch right now to make it so Ron Paul does not have any type of outs, basically, uh, if it would become a brokered convention, then people could just vote their conscience. So we need to make sure that we support these delegates. I'm going to post a link down below in the description uh, for the full article. You can read it. Uh, it's a little interesting, I guess, but I don't know. We need to support these guys because we only have about three weeks until the, a little over three weeks now before the convention starts. And it's coming down to it to where the final delegates are getting chosen and we need to make sure that we win these battles that we're contesting when Mitt Romney is uh, trying to steal Maine. We need to support those delegates in Maine. We need to support these potential delegates now in Massachusetts and in Oregon and Louisiana. We need to make sure that the Ron Paul campaign knows that we are behind them and we're supporting them and we thank them for actually finally trying to protect their delegates also. Uh, and in my video yesterday, I actually announced that I am running for the city council of my town in Fergus Falls, Minnesota. Uh, I have just a couple questions for everyone, and I'll make this short because I don't want to waste anyone's time. Uh, basically, I need to know if anyone here, uh, being I have around 10,000 subscribers, I have some pretty large reach, hopefully. Does anyone know where you can get uh, pamphlets made, like cheap pamphlets, just like with information. I'd like to hand out, go door to door and hand those out. Also, yard signs. I need a good place to make yard signs for a reasonable price. And thirdly, what do you think is your best advice? What do you think is the best way to go around and spread my information? Is it door to door, mouth by mouth, and just talking face to face? Uh, robocalls, uh, just mailing things. What has worked best for you uh, to actually learn about your city council and other people in your state that you voted for? What has informed you the best uh, about them? So I'd appreciate if you guys could answer any of those three questions. Uh, everything helps. Uh, it's going to be a tough race. I'm going against a guy who's been in there for 16 years, but I think it's time for a change, don't you? So not the forward or change or progress or any of those uh, lefty terms or anything like that. I'm talking a change in uh, the status quo and just following party lines and stuff like that. It's time to actually restore the republic and uh, get limited government back to my town. So as always, I ask that you thumbs up this video, share it with friends and family. The more people that see this, maybe the more people uh, will actually have a good chance of getting that great information to me. Uh, if you're new to my videos, make sure you click that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the current Ron Paul news. As always, I'm Matt Larson 10. Go Ron Paul. Peace.